This video documentary shows how the MH17 plane was shot down over Russia in 2014. More than 300 people on board were killed in this terrible attack. With this video, we want to explain to you how the plane was brought down by a missile. So keep watching until the end. In the early afternoon of July the 17th, 2014, a Boeing 777-200 of Malaysia Airlines departs Amsterdam Airport Skip Hall for Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. The flight is prepared as usual, and the airplane is in an airworthy condition. On board of flight MH17 are 283 passengers and 15 crew members. The routing of this flight leads via Germany, Poland, and Ukraine to the east. The standard routing to Asia that many airlines use flight MH17 enters Ukraine airspace at an altitude. Everything is running normally. When the plane is ready for departure, the ground staff do their work so that flight MH17 can depart to Kuala Lumpur. Malaysia Airlines Flight 17 MH17 was a scheduled passenger flight from Amsterdam to Kuala Lumpur that was shot down by Russian-backed forces with a Buk 9M38 surface-to-air missile on July 17, 2014 while flying over eastern Ukraine. All 283 passengers and 15 crew were killed. Contact with the aircraft, a Boeing 777-200ER, was lost when it was about 50 kilometers, 31 miles, 27 nmi, from the Ukraine-Russia border, and wreckage from the aircraft landed near above in Donetsk Oblast, Ukraine, 40 kilometers, 25 miles, 22 nmi from the border. The shootdown occurred during the war in Donbass over territory controlled by Russian separatist forces. The aircraft is pushed back after which the flight starts. No one expects this flight to end in tragedy later. The responsibility for investigation was delegated to the Dutch Safety Board DSB, and the Dutch-led joint investigation team, JIT, which in 2016 reported that the airliner had been downed by a boot surface-to-air missile launch from pro-Russian, separatist-controlled territory in Ukraine. The JIT found that the boot originated from the 53rd Anti-Aircraft Missile Brigade of the Russian Federation and had been transported from Russia on the day of the crash, fired from a field in a rebel-controlled area, and that the launch system returned to Russia afterwards. Flight 17, which was also marketed as KLM Flight 4103, KL 4103, through a code share agreement, was operated with a Boeing 777 2 h 6 er serial number 28411, registration 9 MMRD. The 84th Boeing 777 produced. It first flew on July 17, 1997, exactly 17 years before the incident and was delivered new to Malaysia Airlines on July 29, 1997. Powered by two Rolls-Royce Trent 892 engines and carrying 280 seats, 33 business and 247 economy, the aircraft recorded more than 76,300 hours in 11,430 cycles before the crash. The aircraft was in an airworthy condition at departure. The Boeing 777, which entered commercial service on June 7, 1995, has one of the best safety records among commercial aircraft. 
In June 2014, there were about 1,212 aircraft in service, with 340 more on order. The findings by the DSB and JIT were consistent with earlier claims by American and German intelligence sources and claims by the Ukrainian government. On the basis of the JIT's conclusions, the governments of the Netherlands and Australia held Russia responsible for the deployment of the Buk installation and began pursuing legal remedies in May 2018. The Russian government denied involvement in the shooting down of the airliner, and its account of how the aircraft was shot down has varied over time. Coverage in Russian media has also differed from that in other countries, which initially characterized it as separatist forces shooting down a Ukrainian Air Force and 26 transport plane, before switching to blaming Ukrainian forces for shooting down MH17. On November 17, 2022, following a trial in absentia in the Netherlands, two Russians and a Ukrainian separatist were found guilty of murdering all 298 people on board flight in May 17. The Dutch court also ruled that Russia was in control of the separatist forces fighting in eastern Ukraine at the time. MH17 was Malaysia Airlines' second aircraft loss during 2014, after the disappearance of Flight 3704 months prior on March 8. It is also the deadliest airliner shootdown incident to date. A 33,000 feet following airway, Lima 980. The crew diverts a short distance to the north to avoid some thunderstorms when returning to the airway in the eastern part of Ukrainian airspace. In this region, an armed conflict between the Ukrainian government and armed groups is in progress. Therefore, lower levels of the airspace are restricted for civil air traffic flight. Flight MH17 is routed above this restricted airspace to Waypoint Romeo November Delta in the Russian Federation. At that moment, the flight proceeds normally. When Flight MH17 is above the eastern part of Ukraine, a Buk surface-to-air missile system fires a missile. At 20 minutes past one, this warhead explodes to the left and above the cockpit of MH17. About 800 preformed fragments perforate the airplane. This impact, combined with the blast of the explosion, causes the cockpit and the business class section to separate. As it descends, the airplane disintegrates.
Very soon, the first reports were made of wreckage falling down in the eastern part of Ukraine, in an area of about 50 square kilometers. Six sites were identified where, where parts of the airplane came down. Wreckage of the cockpits in the forward section of the airplane crashed at the sites near Rosapna and Petropublica. The Afghan tail sections ended up about eight kilometers eastwards near the village. None of the 298 occupants survived the crash.